Hello, this is Rahim and this is my LinkedIn ID. In this short video, I'm going to explain the procedure to support IMS voice service in 5G system using fallback mechanisms. Before going to see the procedure for fallback mechanisms, we should focus on the 5G system capabilities about IMS voice support and also interworking with the 4G system. First of all, the 5G voice over NR capable device should be aware about the support of IMS voice service during registration procedure. For this case, you send the registration request to the 5G network and the AMF access and mobility management function in the 5G core is responsible for handling the registration process of the 5G device and after checking all the conditions, it sends the registration access to the device through the NAS 5G mobility management message. But how the device is informed about the capabilities of the 5G system if it supports IMS voice service and also interworking with the 4G system. UE is acknowledged through NAS registration accept using 5GS network feature support information element. AMF acknowledges the device whether IMS voice packet switch over 3GP access is supported or not. There is an element in 5GS network feature support information element which is called IMS VOPS 3GPP, IMS voice over PS through 3GP access. It can be set to 0 or 1. 0 means that IMS voice over PS session not supported over 3GP access, and 1 means that IMS voice over PS session supported over 3GP access. So, to support IMS voice over PS, it should be set to 1. There is also another element in 5G network feature support information element, which is called IWKN26, interworking without N26 interface. N26 interface is an interface between AMF, access and mobility management function in the 5G core and the MME, mobility management entity in the 4G core. And for this interface, GTP V2-C, GPRS tunneling protocol version 2 control plane is used as a protocol to send and receive the signal messages between the MME and AMF, for instance, during EPS fallback procedure. IWK N26 can be set to 0 or 1. 0 means that interworking without N26 interface is not supported. And 1 means that interworking without N26 interface is supported. Therefore, for the devices that are registered with the 5G system as a single mode registration and due to some reasons they have to be redirected to the 4G base station connected to the EPC to continue IMS voice call IWK N26 needs to be set 0. During Registration procedure, if the voice over NR capable device is acknowledged by the 5G core that IMS voice over PS via 3GP access is supported, then the device will try to register with the IMS through 5G access network. To do this action, the device sends the 5G network a request to establish a PDU session to our IMS network with the default call of service flow for SIP session initiation protocol. When a voice over NR capable device initiates a M call, 
mobile originating call, the request is sent to the 5G network if, for some reason, the 5G system, especially 5G based stations, is not ready to handle the voice over NR call, then the 5G based station, based on the configuration, sends the device to the 4G based station using fallback mechanisms. There are two fallback mechanisms. In fact, 3GPP specifies two fallback mechanisms to support IMS voice service. EPS fallback. In this case, 5G voice over NR capable device is redirected or handed over to EUTRA connected to the EPC to make a vertical voice over LT and internet fallback in 5G call. 5G voice over NR capable device is released and redirected or handed over to EUTRA connected to the 5G call but not connected to the 4G call to make an IMS voice call. Okay, for more information, you can also refer to my page in LinkedIn to see more posts related to the 5G system. If you have any questions regarding fallback mechanisms, you can contact me via direct message on LinkedIn. And finally, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This way you motivate me to make more videos.